So at one of his rallies, Donald Trump was complaining about all of the coverage that COVID-19 receives, and that led to his cultists chanting, fire Fauci. Now, the reason why they don't like Dr. Anthony Fauci is because he is seemingly contradicting what Donald Trump says, because Donald Trump is anti-science, and because Donald Trump doesn't want to listen to the input of health experts. Well, you know, it seems as if Dr. Fauci is anti-Trump, when in actuality, Donald Trump is anti-science. But having said that, though, I mean, this is to be expected from Donald Trump supporters. Anyone who contradicts Daddy Trump they're, by definition, the enemy. Uh, but what Donald Trump says is what I really want to zero in on here because he uh, hints at what he will do after this election with regard to Dr. Anthony Fauci. Rounding the turn. I say it, it drives him crazy. It's rounding the turn. Because all they want to do, you turn in the news, COVID, 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 COVID. We'd like to talk about COVID. And then uh, next turn. Here's what happens. November 4th. You won't hear too much about it. You won't hear too much about it. Don't tell anybody, but let me wait till a little bit after the election. Please. I appreciate the advice. Now, he's been wrong on a lot. He's a nice man, though. He's been wrong on a lot. All right. So first of all, um, this is a cult. They act as a hive mind with <laughs> Donald Trump basically being like the hive mind leader. But in response to uh, them chanting fire Dr. Anthony Fauci, he says, I might do that. But after the election. Now, if Dr. Anthony Fauci is wrong, why would you wait until after the election? Just do it right now. Why wait? Well, because he knows that Dr. Anthony Fauci is one of the most trusted public health officials in the country because he is an apolitical individual. He is not a political actor. He is giving raw information about science and what we know about COVID-19. But because Donald Trump is an imbecile who does not want to listen to scientists and epidemiologists and health experts because he cares more about the economy than actually containing the spread of the virus, then, you know, he uh, is against Anthony Fauci. They've, they've butted heads multiple times. And what Trump doesn't realize is that you can't just choose to, you know, save the economy if we throw everyone else under the bus. If lots of people suffer from this illness and they die, that's also going to hurt the economy. But he doesn't care. He, he's a child, basically. Um, and his supporters don't like that Anthony Fauci... Uh, is saying things that Donald Trump doesn't like, so they want him to be fired. Because how dare you question Donald Trump? If you're working in the White House, you have to be unequivocally you know, uh, loyal to Donald Trump under every single circumstance. It doesn't even matter if he's incorrect and he's spreading misleading information about a virus that we all are suffering from currently. It doesn't matter. If you contradict Daddy Trump, you are the enemy and Daddy Trump must fire you. It's a cult. Now, it's funny that Donald Trump said, oh, well, you know, the media, they won't stop talking about COVID-19, but wait until November 4th, once this election is over, then they're going to stop talking about it. And this mentality is so stupid because so many Americans, they, they think that America exists within a vacuum, that we're the center of the universe and no other country is dealing with the pandemic currently. I mean, Europe is seeing their second wave, record numbers as well. So are all of the other countries in the world just going to stop talking about COVID-19 and pretend as if it's not important after this election? Well, no, of course not. That's preposterous. But Donald Trump, according to him, you know, being the narcissist that he is, he's the center of the universe. So this pandemic is really just a conspiracy to hurt him. Now, mind you, he didn't have to make it be this way. Like, he could have actually been competent and not bungled his response from the beginning. He could have made it so that way this wasn't a political issue for him, but because he's incompetent, because he has decided for whatever reason to undermine our attempts to contain the virus at every step of the way, well, it is hurting him. I mean, the post office, USPS, we found in, what was it, July, August, that they were going to send out five face masks to every single family. And guess what? He unilaterally stopped that because he didn't want to create a panic. He has made us less effective at dealing with the virus. So because COVID-19 hurts him, that's on him. A competent leader would not be harmed 
by a pandemic if they actually took it seriously. Now, the reason why this is important is because it gives us a little bit of a sense of what to expect. Him saying that he may fire Dr. Anthony Fauci after this election, uh, it's telling. Because if he is reelected, then he's going to take the virus even less seriously because he doesn't feel as if he has to even pretend that it's important during an election because he wants to get reelected. Or, you know, who knows what he could do, the damage that he could cause during, uh, you know, the period between which he loses this election, if he loses, and January 21st, when Joe Biden is sworn in, like that could be a lot of damage. He could fire Dr. Anthony Fauci then, you know, and um, even though Joe Biden could bring Anthony Fauci back, you know, that's that's a long period of time. That's two months if Trump loses, where we're operating in the dark, where we have nobody that's giving us actually factual data from this administration. We've already seen how he's tried to basically silence the CDC. Um, so, you know, and that's if he loses, if he wins, the damage will be even worse. So either way, like we are disadvantaged, comparatively speaking, to other countries because Donald Trump refuses to take this seriously. Even Boris Johnson, you know, after he got COVID-19, he started taking it seriously. You know, at first he was not, but he got the virus and then he took it seriously. Donald Trump still got the virus, isn't taking it seriously. So we're almost uniquely disadvantaged when we're the richest country in the world. We shouldn't be at this disadvantage, right? But because we have an imbecile in the White House who doesn't actually care and who has actively tried to undermine our efforts to contain the spread of the virus, I mean, this is going to stick around longer than uh, than other countries, I, I would imagine, right? Now, over the next four years, Donald Trump uh, knows that he doesn't have to do anything because a vaccine will become more widely available. Whether or not people can afford it is a different question. But he knows he does, he doesn't if he gets reelected, he doesn't even have to pretend to care about the virus anymore, right? It'll probably be gone by 2024, and he even if it wasn't, he doesn't care because he can't seek reelection in spite of him wanting to do that. So you know it's going to be around longer in the United States because of Donald Trump. And um, because of that, there's going to be more and more suffering. So my only hope is that if Trump loses and Biden comes to power, that he takes this pandemic seriously. And then since someone with a D in front of their name is in power, hopefully Trump supporters will begin to realize how much damage this has caused. I don't care who they blame. They could blame Joe Biden. But hopefully they actually take the deaths of Americans seriously. I mean... 230,000 Americans dead at the time I record this video. That number's rising rapidly. So the fact that they're not taking this seriously when the response to 9-11, which was 3,000 deaths, was never forget. Now all of a sudden we're, we're forgetting as it's happening. And it's just, it's, it's astonishing. It's because Trump is the one who's in charge. And Trump is the one who isn't taking it seriously. So it's cognitive dissonance. And that's to be expected when you are in a cult. So, you know, Trump here saying that he might fire Dr. Fauci, it's it's not surprising, but it still is uh, really, it would be harmful, I think. Mike is the worst progressive on YouTube. Please don't subscribe to him or become a patron. David Dole is so much better. Trust me, folks, he's doing a great job. He really is, okay?